Now we will see how to convert a decimal number into a fraction. And it's pretty easy to do. Just remember the place value of each decimal place, and those are really easy to remember. This first place is the tenths place, so that four is really four tenths. The next place is the hundredths place. The next place is the thousandths place, and so on. That seven is seven ten thousandths, and the one there is one one hundred thousandth. And obviously the places go on beyond that. But remembering those places helps you to convert a decimal number into a fraction. Let's look at these examples. 0.7. That first place is the tenths place. So 0.7 is 7 tenths. So I can just write it as a fraction like that. 0.39, I have two decimal places. So I'm going out to the hundredths place here. 0.39 is 39 hundredths. And 0.851 is 851 thousandths. I've gone out three places right here, so I need three zeros there in my denominator. Now look at this one, 3.97. I could write this as 3, and then the 0.97 is 97 hundredths. So I could write that as a mixed number like that, 3 and 97 hundredths, but I could also write it as 397 hundredths as an improper fraction, and those are mathematically equivalent. Either way would be okay. If you were told to convert it to an improper fraction, you would do it that way. If you were told to convert it to a mixed number, you would do it that way. Same thing happens here, 12.813. I can write that as 12, and then the 0.813 is 813 thousandths. Or I could write it as 12,813 thousandths. Again, you might be told to convert it either to an improper fraction or to a mixed number. And when you're converting a decimal number into a fraction, the resulting fraction should be reduced to lowest terms whenever possible. So for example, 0.6, if you write that as 6 tenths, you shouldn't leave your fraction like that. You should realize that 6 tenths can reduce to 3 fifths. And sometimes you might want to leave, uh, leave it in terms of tenths if you're dealing with base 10, which we often are. Uh, but most of the time you're going to want to reduce it to the lowest possible terms. Your answer is considered simplified when it's been reduced as much as possible and you always want to simplify your answers. So 0.84, this next example, 0.84 could be written as 84 over 100 and I look at those and I recognize that 84 and 100 are both even numbers so I divide them both by 2 and you can do that in your head that comes out to 42 over 50 and you realize there you still have two even numbers so I can reduce it a little bit more so I'll divide 42 by 2 and I get 21 and divide 50 by 2 and I get 25 so 21 over 25 is my answer this decimal number 0.84 is equivalent to this fraction 21 over 25 2.5 could be written as 2 and 5 tenths and I can reduce the 5 tenths there to 1 half so that's going to be written as 2 and 1 half. Uh, you could also write 2.5 as 25 tenths, which would reduce to 5 halves. 2 and a half is the same thing as 5 halves. Again, you might be told to give your answer as a mixed number like that or as what we call an improper fraction like that. Those two are mathematically equivalent. Those would both be considered mathematically correct.